Well, some new lawsuits announced today in the Las Vegas mass shooting on behalf of hundreds of victims. 58 people were killed. Hundreds of others were wounded. Eyewitness News reporter Giovanna Lara was at today's announcement in Century City. Four attorneys from different law firms are joining efforts to litigate five lawsuits tied to the deadly mass shooting at the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival in Las Vegas. The claimants include the families of two victims killed in the shooting spree, another who suffered a major catastrophic injury, and a grouping of 450 victims whose injuries range from gunshot and trampling wounds to PTSD. The lawsuits name Mandalay Bay, MGM Resorts, and Live Nation. What we're going to show in this case is the defendants did not keep these people safe. The security was an utter failure. According to the attorneys, MGM and Mandalay Bay broke policy when it failed to stop the shooter from bringing weapons into the hotel, allowed the gunman access to a freight elevator, and then waited too long to alert authorities after the first shots rang out. There was a six minute plus delay. There was a decision made not to make that phone call to 911 immediately. One of the victims in the lawsuits was working at the event, her duties to usher concert goers in and out of the venue. She was never told what the security plan or emergency response plan would be. There was no clearly marked exit signs for people to, to leave. And the exits that were there, some of them uh, were actual exits, but they were blocked off. No specific damages are outlined in the lawsuits, though the attorneys say a billion dollars wouldn't be too much, though the bigger win, they say, is to make large public events safer in the future. If we're not prepared to make changes and protect people better, we're going to continue to see this. And we contacted MGM and Live Nation. Both tell us they cannot comment on pending litigation. MGM adds they plan to defend themselves against these lawsuits. And Live Nation tells us they will continue to cooperate fully with the active FBI investigation underway. We should also mention that the estate of the shooter, Stephen Paddock, is also named in these lawsuits.